What's up, Cowboys Nation? Welcome back to another video. This is your Week 14 Madden Prediction video. I want to thank each and every one of you for liking and watching the one from last week against the Colts. Last week, we took on the Colts, and we beat them 24-7 virtually. That was the Madden Prediction video last week. Obviously, we blew them out in real life, 54-19. Uh, but here we got the Houston Texans. Early slot time here on Fox. The Dallas Cowboys are 9-3, and, and the Houston Texans are 1-10-1, and, and they are mathematically eliminated from playoff contention. So, realistically, I mean, the Dallas Cowboys should take care of their business here uh, this coming Sunday. Uh, and they should win decisively. I never want to go out and say, you know, they're going to win 14-0, but honestly, it could be that. But, uh, you know, you, you never want to underestimate your opponent. So let's take a look here. Madden prediction video on the way. Looks like we're going to receive the ball. I have no choice in the matter. I should probably change the settings beforehand. But uh, let's go ahead and run one back. Cowboys Can Fan Podcast wants me to run back uh, one with Cavante Turpin. So let's see if we can get him one. It's probably not going to happen on that drive. I just saw the block immediately, and I knew. I knew immediately. But uh, be sure to like and subscribe, guys. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more Cowboys content. Of course, every week I release the Madden prediction video here in full length. Uh, I also do a pregame prediction video talking about the expectations going into the upcoming game. And, of course, the postgame reaction video. I'm back in town, so you'll expect a full postgame reaction video from me after the Texans game. But here we go. Uh, matchup keys today. Same thing that I did last week. I'm going to run the ball. Um, and I'm going to do that with Ezekiel Elliott, and he breaks the tackle right here for a one-yard gain. I'm going to go ahead and run it again. I really, I really like the boot here. I really like the play action. I think I can find CeeDee Lamb right here. Yep, he's wide open. Ooh, good pass, good. 19 yards. Dak is one of one. Yeah, give him that celebration, C.D. Lamb. All right, here we go. First and 10. Don't like what I see. Everyone's stacked on the right, so I'm going to run it with Zeke to the left. Wide open hole. First down and 10. Move the chains. That's 14 yards. I really feel like this is going to be a, a Zeke game. Um, so I'm not going to – I don't think I'm going to lean on Tony Pollard. Maybe, maybe – I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how the game goes. But here we go, second and ten. Oh no! It's a pick! As I got hit! Oh no! No way! They brought the pressure as I threw the ball. The linebacker, the linebacker was right underneath. You talk about how not to start a game. That's how you don't start a game. After the holding call, here we go. First and 16. I mean, the Texans are going to shoot themselves in the foot all day long. They're going to try to run the ball here with Damian Pierce again, who's having a terrific, terrific rookie season. Um, so I think if we can just stop Damian Pierce and force uh, Dave Mills to throw the ball here, we give ourselves a good shot here. So second and 16. We're going to do play action. He may try to run it out of the pocket. Nope, just a bad throw right there. And that's what you got to do, man. That's what, you know, it's a, it's a semi-easy matchup because you can really be a little bit lenient on those throws right there. Are we going to get him? Demarcus Lawrence for the first sack of the game. Put it down in the comments right now. How many, how many sacks do you think we're going to get today in this game? I'm going to say six. Here we go. First and ten. Good field position for us. We got to score on this drive right here. Here we go. Michael Gallup right across the field. Great pass from Dak off the play action. Dak out of the play action is incredible in the game. It's 22 yards. I'm going to put my foot on the pedal here, and I'm going to go Noah Brown here across. I'm going play action again. Nobody open. I'm going to take this myself. Don't mind if I do. Nine-yard gain. Dak Prescott, second and one. And this is just easy, easy yards right here. This is what you got to do. You just got to get these yards right here. So I'll just go 
Goal line normal. Should get the first down here. Oh, wide open hole for Ezekiel Elliott, number 21. Feed, Zeke. I don't know, guys. If that's Tony Pollard, I think that's a touchdown. Don't, wouldn't you agree? It kind of looked like it was a clear touchdown. Uh, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the pass play here. Michael Gallup. I'm going to get down. Didn't want to fumble the ball. Second and two right here. This is an easy play to Zeke. Or should I pass it? I don't want to be killing more. I'm going to go ahead and just run the ball with Zeke. Oh, wow. Okay. I got to give credit where credit is due. That was a good tackle. I think that's Malik Collins, former Dallas Cowboy. Here we go. I'm just going to go at him with the same play. Because behind the goat. And what happened there? Come on. What happened? That was... I wasn't even touched. That was awful. Whatever. That was right behind the goat. Do you see how Zach Martin just pulled right around and led the way? Toss to the left. Here we go. Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, fighting for the yards. That's a touchdown, Ezekiel Elliott. Number 21 gets the first points of the game. 7-0. Zeke. Look at the run, slicing and dicing. Gets away from the one cornerback. Easy touchdown for Ezekiel Elliott. Great run. Second week that we have scored on the toss to the left. If you guys remember, in the Colts Madden prediction video, did the same exact play in the red zone. This is either a play action or a run. Oh, wow. He blew up Leighton Van Der Esch. Oh my god. Here we go. I'm going blitz safety right here. Let's get the sack. Number two on the day. Leighton Van Der Esch with the sack. The Wolf Hunter. Number two on the day. And we end the drive. This defense is going to feast on the Houston Texans today. And on Sunday too. Going back for the punt return. That was a terrible kick. So bad that I'm going to start at the 46. Is their punter not good as well? God, this team is terrible in all three phases. I'm feeling a blitz here. I just feel it in my bones. So I'm going to go pass here. Quick pass to Noah Brown. Read it. Read it like a book. Here we go. I'm going to go back to the play action boot comeback. Should have Noah Brown right here. And I do. Oh, what happened right there? Miscommunication. Wow. Both receivers just bounced right off of them. Oh, my gosh. What in the world just an amazing work by the offensive line on that play that's going to end the first quarter 60 rushing yards in the first quarter to start the game oh, man that offensive line i had two leading offensive linemen right there you're probably asking after that first quarter why am i not running the ball more and uh i think you would be absolutely correct if I'm going to get a lot of looks like that with the offensive line against this defense, why not just run the ball more? Look at that. That's a six-yard gain. Ezekiel Elliott, eight rushes, 57 yards, and a touchdown already? Yeah, absolutely. Got a little RPO action going on here. I'm just going to give it to Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, I don't like the timing of that. I think the timing of that ruined that run because it easily could have been a touchdown. But here we go. Third and five from the five. Looks like they're bringing in a safety. So we got a one-man look. I'm going empty set. Maybe Schultz or Noah Brown here. Schultz. No way. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way. What in the world happened on that play? He had the look. The ball was just thrown right behind him, and Schultz was even looking. Red zone 
INT. That's a huge do not do. That's that's on the do not list right there. That that Oh, here we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh man. This is what Madden likes to do. Because if you I let the ball go at the right time. A quick release to Dalton Schultz. And it just went by him. I don't know if that was a bad throw or if that was just bad mechanics right there. Two interceptions from Dak Prescott. And this is almost Cowboys-like. We're keeping this team in. I mean, if without the turnovers, guys, it's 21-0. Deron Bland with the tackle on the outside and third and five after the big run from Damian Pierce. All right. Dang, guys, two interceptions. And he throws it out of bounds. One of four for six yards, and they're going to get a field goal out of that situation here. Unless I can block it here, which I don't think I will. And they're going to get the three right there. 7-3 off of a red zone interception. I just really don't know how to respond to that. I I felt like I got rid of the ball when I was supposed to. Um, I guess not. But here we go. Oh, no. Are you serious? This is what, guys, guys, this is what Madden loves to do. It loves to create these really stupid... Uh, that is just stupid. Look at this. Really? A fumble. <laughs> this game... All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go along with it. I'm going to go along with it. <laughs> can this defense hold them? To I'm laughing because it's just so stupid. I mean, come on. All right. Here we go. Big third down. <laughs> Am I? You guys seen me play. You guys know I'm not this bad. All right, here we go. Third and goal. Third and goal. Third and goal. Oh! Oh! Leighton Vander Esch for the interception! The Wolf Hunter! Can he beat him out? The 40! The 30! The 20! Oh! He's going to take it at the back six! The Wolf Hunter! That's a pick six! He takes it back! Leighton Vander Esch, number 55! Is going to take this back. We got to go to the replay. It is such a long touchdown. We can't even show the full replay. Oh my God. Just an incredible play. They were slowly catching up to him. And they had a chance right there. Whoop. Nope. Talk about a swing of emotions here at AT&T Stadium. And shout out to this defense, y'all. And correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, was that a user pick? They had Damian Pierce one-on-one, -on -one and David Mills completely threw that ball away. That was an incredible, incredible. All right, defense is back out here. Definitely doing a lot of leg work here. Look at Jabril Cox is in. <laughs> Jabril Cox is in for Leighton Van Der Esch. Leighton Van Der Esch is probably on the sidelines getting his oxygen in, but he's right back in on this play. What a play from Leighton Van Der Esch. That has to 102 yards. Anthony Barr with the sack. That's three on the day. Should I light him up, guys? Mid blitz, zero. This is one of my favorite plays to run. Love this play. Can we get sack number four on the day? Oh, 
That was such a bad tackle, but I did. I, the job was a com mission accomplished. I put the right amount of pressure, but I missed. I probably yeah, you're. I probably missed out on sack number four. Another terrible punt, but I think we could take this back with Cavante Turpin. No, not this time. Ezekiel Elliott, nine rushes, 56 yards, a touchdown, averaging 6.2 uh, yards a carry, having a really good day so far. Of course, we have thrown two interceptions. The first one, I get. I was under pressure, threw it underneath, linebacker took it. I completely get that. The second one's a little suspect, though. Not going to lie. Second one was definitely a little bit suspect. All right, here we go. I'm feeling. I'm not going to go with the screen here. I'm going to go with Dak Prescott down the middle. Four yard game. Third and six. Here we go. Uh, not really liking what I'm seeing here from the defense and the play that I'm calling, so I'm going to let this wind down to the two minute warning. But 14 3, your Dallas Cowboys versus the Houston Texans. Let's come back here. Uh, I think I'm going to have to handpick this play because I'm not seeing anything I particularly like. Um, shallow cross. Maybe Zeke right here. Looks like they're playing a zone. So I'm actually going to switch this play because I may have CD Lamb right here. Got to get CD involved. And I do. That's a first down. Number 88. I think that's the second catch. I, he had a catch earlier in the game. But easy third down conversion, under two minutes. Let's take the clock down. Heck, man, let's make it 21-3 before the end of the half. Maybe Noah Brown right here. I'm going to switch Zeke to the right side because I may roll out. Oh, look at them. They're moving around. I'm going to push CD out. Let's go just Dalton Schultz. He's trying to get out of bounds, but... All right, let's see. What are we going to do here? I'm going to go empty set. I'm going to go Cowboy Slants. Screen to Michael Gallup. There's just nothing. I went through my progressions on that one. I just didn't see anyone open. All right, here we go. Just letting the clock wind down. I'm not really worried about it. Should have Schultz open here. <gasps> Michael Gallup inside the 20, and we're going to take our timeout right there. Good pocket protection right there. It really allowed me to go through my progressions and see who was open because you guys heard me. I said I was going to go Schultz or Noah Brown, but then I saw Gallup come across. I'm going to bring Zeke in here for protection. Same thing here. Should have someone open. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Wow. Their zone coverage did a pretty good job on that one. I'm not going to lie. This doesn't feel like my best game at the moment right now. Hopefully, the second half turns around. But this definitely doesn't feel like my best game. Oh, I was trying. I was thinking about doing the hurry up offense. But it's going to take off 11 seconds. I'm going to have nine seconds left. I'm going to run a play. It's going to be like six seconds left. Just. I got to go with the touchdown play here. And I have not ran this play yet. So I'm going to definitely go with this one here. Um, you guys see me run it a couple of times last last game. This is what I like to go to. If I can find it. What am I at? 16 seconds on the play clock? God, man. Okay, hold up. Let's reset. There we go. Flood. CD Lamb right here in the corner in the end zone. I would love to move Zeke over, but here we go. Wide open in the end zone. CD Lamb. Number 88. New beginnings. The true number one wide receiver. On the post pattern to the corner of the end zone, he was alone. 
easy touchdown from number four to number 88. We run the two-minute offense. We get the score up. 21-3 coming up here going into the halftime. What a half, guys. Oh, my gosh. Nine plays, 56 yards. Good drive right there. 16 seconds. I'm going to kick it off to them. But they really, you know, they, they've shown nothing offensively. Um, defensively, I've really gifted them a lot of things. I mean, it's pretty incredible to to know that I've had two interceptions. Um, and then I'm up 21-3. But we had that incredible. The defense really bailed me out here. The defense really has bailed me out because they had some great stops. Um, the red zone interception from Dak. And granted, they did give up that big run to Damian Pierce. Um, they were able to hold him to three. And then <laughs> the play of the game right now, Leighton Van Der Esch, the pick six. Ooh. What a hit by Trayvon Diggs. Going to knock him out of bounds, third and three. They're probably going to go for it all here. Let me see if I can get a sack here. Comment down below. How many sacks am I at again? Oh, almost a pick. Super dangerous by David Mills to do that. I almost had a sack with Michael Parsons. I, I, that was close to being a pass interference call. The way Madden calls pass interference calls, um, that was very close to one. But look at the – look at there's your first half stats. They have negative 16 passing yards. Again, this is all Madden here. This is this. <laughs> I'm gonna run inside here. Um, they're probably gonna pass it a little bit more, so I'm gonna go ahead and defend medium, medium pass, and of course I kick it off. But um, <laughs> this is all Madden, guys. This is the Houston Texans for you, um, and they really don't look good. I would say, yeah, right now so far is pretty reali realistic. I think that's how I would expect this offense to work. I would expect David Mills to look a little bit better um, come Sunday in real life. And uh, for Damian Pierce to have a few more yards. Oh, Michael Parsons blew up the left tackle and made that play. Did you see that? Goodness gracious. Look at this. Boom. Blows up. Oh, it was even the left tackle. It was the wide receiver. Number 12. Gosh, we're just taking control of this game. I'm going to go zone here, second and 14. I'd be surprised if they ran it. And they do. And I'm, and I'm glad. Oh, it's a fumble. It's on the ground. That was a fumble recovery. By Michael Parsons, number 11, the future defensive player of the year. But if I'm not mistaken, that tackle was made by J. Ron Curse. J. Ron Curse lowering his shoulder, getting the force fumble. And the defense shows up again, gives us this short field at the 37. Let's run it with Zeke. Oh, he has an opening. Can he take it? Oh, if that's 2016, Zeke, he's bringing that to the outside, and that's a touchdown. I was going to lower my shoulder and do a truck stick, but I thought, let me go ahead and just let me see if I can beat him with the speed. Okay, that was a pretty good tackle by a cornerback. Not too sure how realistic that is if you're going up against Zeke. But here we go. Easy first down. Oh, maybe not. So I run the ball three straight times thinking thinking I felt pretty good about it, but they stopped me. Okay, how do you guys feel about this right here? Uh, I want to run it again, but if you ran it three times... I think I'm getting too greedy here. I think I'm getting too greedy. Because if I ran the ball three times, it makes no sense to run it a fourth time on fourth and two. I mean, it's not like it's fourth and one or fourth and inches. And I don't necessarily want to pass it. I got the turnover. I want it to at least have some kind of points. 
So there you go. Conservative choice. 24-3. That's that's my coaching hat on right there. That's my coaching hat on. Because you just... I know this game. I, I know I'm going to win this game. But I'm just saying, like... Don't want to give them anything to... Don't want to give the Texans anything to, you know, work off of. Rex Burkhead, one rush for 14 yards. Where's Damian Pierce? Is he out with an injury? Oh, no, no, he's back in. I mean, yeah, that Burkhead guy should not be back in after he fumbled the ball. They're going to dump it off to Damian Pierce. Ooh, Deron Bland was sneaking up on you. David Mills, 4 of 10, 18 yards, one interception. Uh, you could not ask for a worse stat line from a quarterback. <laughs> Second and three, they're going to run it here. I want to move to the right. And I read it perfectly. Read it perfectly. Damian Pierce, nine rushes for 53 yards. Good for him. Here we go. Third and four. Um, I don't think it's four down territory for them. Ooh. Okay. That was a good pass from David Mills. Not going to lie. Good pass. Beat Joseph on the, on the outside. He was my slot wide receiver on that one. They got me jumbled here. I'm going to go zone. Dump it off. Oh, bad throw from David Mills. But also, if he throws it on, I think David David Bland might just pick that off. All right, shift to the left here. David Barr up at the top. They're going to run the ball here. And we stop him. That's a loss of one yard. And here we go, third and one. Or third and 11, sorry. Michael Parsons time. Deron Bland with the interception. The toe tap. The toe drag swag. Filling in for the injured Anthony Brown. All right, here we go. First and ten. Let's run the ball. Let's remain conservative. And that's a good run right there. That's seven yards, 14 rushes, 71 yards. Touchdown. That's a good run right there. This is where you just got to end the game with Ezekiel Elliott and your run game. Oh, with the big run from Ezekiel Elliott. Great day from Ezekiel Elliott. 15 rushes, 85 yards. I mean, just from the get-go, he's he's played fantastic. Do I run it again? I think I run. Ooh, look at it. He's playing up. So I may have another CeeDee Lamb touchdown here. Now I'm going to dump it off to Zeke right there. What's the flag for? Rough in the passer. Wow. I will gladly take the 15 yards. And I'm going to stretch this to the outside. I feel like I can maybe get to the out. Never mind. <laughs> Loss of two yards on there. They did a good job of guarding that, of defending that. Let's go back to the flood. Two touchdowns for CeeDee Lamb today. Can it be? No, they're playing good right there. That's a Michael Gallup play. Seven yards. Dak Prescott, 12 of 15, 142 yards, a touchdown, two interceptions. Would want to see a better stat line. Those two interceptions were kind of rough. All right, here we go. I'm doing a fade to CD, but I'm, 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 I don't know if I'm going to throw exactly that. Oh, my gosh. That was a bad play by me. That was a bad throw, a bad decision. Don't know what I was trying to do there. I was forcing it, and that's bad. Three interceptions from Dak Prescott today. Like I said, the first one, if we can remember correctly, 
the first one that was my bad i get that because the pressure was on me ball went through went to the linebacker who's sitting below second one was a huge question mark that one was blatantly on me though Oh, here we go. Deron Bland with the second interception of the day. See if I can take it back, and I can't. Deron Bland. They try to go at Deron Bland for the second time today. And he's repeat, repeating his performance from the Colts game. That's another interception. Make it two on the day. And he has a good run back with it. They try to go to Damian Pierce. Four turnovers on the day for both teams. This is a blitz. Look at they're gonna blitz right here. What did I tell you? They're gonna blitz. And I'm gonna throw that away because the timing on that was just awful. What am I doing? This is just this is just bad play. Honestly, by me. Just bad quarterback play. Not smart play, Colin. I apologize today, guys. End of the third quarter, it's 24-3. If, if, if I'm playing like this against the Eagles, say, in a couple of weeks, I'm putting myself in a deep hole, or, or I'm putting myself in a difficult position. But thank God I'm playing the Texans, because four turnovers, man, that that's bad. They're blitzing again right here. But we're going to run the ball, get just one yard. 18 rushes for 96 yards. Good day from Zeke. Still 24 to 3. They're loading up the box here, but I think I can get 5 yards. Oh, I'm getting more than that. Zeke breaking away. The stiff arm. Zeke over 100 yards. Look at this run. Move the chains. Stiff arm. Get off me. Another stiff arm. Just a really big day. This has been the Zeke game. Lower in the shoulder, two yards. Oh, I was just a yard. Well, this game should definitely be. I'm gonna cut it right back in. Sorry, I interrupted my thought there. Um, this game should definitely be more. 38 to 3 honestly 45 to 3 but these stupid interceptions that I've thrown two of them in the red zone just unapologetic really bad on my part so if the Cowboys don't do that then this game is ridiculously decisive for them and I get another field goal 27-3 running it with just Zeke What was the score last game again? I think it was 24 to 7 that I beat the Colts. So this would be 27 to 3. Yeah, that sounds about right. But you guys see me play. Usually I'm not throwing red zone interceptions. I think honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I think it was I was getting a little bit bored and I wanted to throw the ball instead of running the ball. And make the video at least watchable for you guys. I'm going to be honest. This is like a therapy therapy session. I'm going to tell you guys why I threw the ball instead. Incomplete pass. Very inaccurate. 6 of 16. 44 yards. Three interceptions for David Mills. Yikes. Ooh, he got me on that cutback. But I'm going to tackle him short. And let's put some pressure on him. I feel like he hasn't felt some pressure here in a while. Let's do Silver Shoot Pinch. I'm going to play Hooker up. Move J-Ron Curse over so he can't dump it off to the tight end. And he gets rid of the ball under pressure. And absolutely, it is four down territory for this team. So I expect this. They should run the ball. They should have Damian Pierce in, to be honest. I guess it doesn't matter. 
You know what's crazy though is they 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 don't have Damian Pierce in the game. They have Burke had it. I think I have four sacks on the day. Good win with the tackle and the coverage. Second and inches. This is garbage stats right here. This is garbage time. Twenty-seven to three. And I may reciprocate. I may actually do the same thing here. Ooh, great play read by Barr right there. Blowing up the screen. Third and three. Empty set right here. They're going to change the play. They see my blitz. Oh, I'm going to bring someone back here just in case. They may run it. Oh, look at it. Now they're playing with me. Here we go. Kelvin Joseph. Oh, I thought he was going to go out of bounds. He did not go out of bounds. See if they can get a touchdown here. Oh, good win with the interception. That's another pick six. Are you, are you kidding me? Two pick sixes against the Houston Texans. That sounds about right, to be honest. Leighton Van Der Esch with the pick six in the red zone earlier in the game. And C.J. Goodwin filling in because the Cowboys are thin in the secondary. Gets the pick. Returns it for a touchdown. Cowboys force five turnovers on the day. Wow. And we're at 34-3. This is exactly how I thought the game was going to go down. What a field day for the defense. They haven't gotten to him as much as I thought they would, but David Mills has been smart enough to get rid of the, the, the ball a little bit quicker. But that's not to give him a, a lot of credit because when he gets rid of it quick like that, he's forcing passes and you know causing the pick. I'm calling it. I don't, I don't think we're done yet here. I think he's going to throw one more pick. But what a day, man. Deron Bland had two interceptions. What did I say? What did I say? And that's Kelvin Joseph, boss man, number one. I told you guys, I said the day was not over. There you guys have it. The Cowboys are going to obliterate them. And it's Cooper Rush time here at AT&T Stadium with three minutes left. Tony Pollard's in it, running back. Malik Davis is taking runs in. So let's see. Hold up. Two. So Kelvin Joseph got one. Goodwin got one. LVE got one. So that's three already. And then you have two interceptions from Deron Bland. Guys, that's five interceptions that we got from David Mills. And I think we've sacked him four times. I think that's my official... That's my official, um, my guess. Malik Davis with the run right there. It's going to be no gain. I did nothing there to burn the clock. <laughs> Brett Maher. How many, how many field goals has he had today? I'm going to make it 37-3. And we're going to give David Mills back the ball. <laughs> And he's thrown five interceptions today. So, I mean, if he's feeling lucky, he can go four if he wants to. Or if he can go he can go six if he wants to here. If you're Lovey Smith, you're like, why is he still in the game? Five interceptions? Good tackle. Kelvin Joseph, right? Yeah, look at 11-24, 83 yards, five interceptions. Goodness. We're going zone right here. Ooh, wow. I got to give credit where credit's due. That was a heck of a spin on Kelvin Joseph. Put him in the spin cycle. I'm going to go zone here. Dang, Kelvin Joseph is is getting worked there. Ten seconds left. This is probably going to be your final score here at 37-3. They're going to lob it up here. See if I can get Leighton Van Der Esch here. Ooh, tip ball. 
almost a pick. Final play of the game here. Can we get interception number six, or can Micah get a sack? Ball's going up in the end zone. Incomplete. No one's going to get it. And there you guys go. Week 14 Madden prediction. The Dallas Cowboys blow out. <laughs> the Houston Texans. We had some awesome highlight plays. I got to say my favorite one has to be the LVE one. It has to be the Wolf Hunter. It has to be Leighton Van Der Esch's pick six for what was it? Like it had to be 105 yards. Um, Cooper Rush. Why did they got Cooper Rush's name with Dak Prescott right there? Come on, EA. David Mills. Awful game. <laughs> you couldn't have had a worse game. Surprised Kyle Allen didn't get enough playing time but let's go over the stats here while you guys are still here once again i appreciate it dak did not have a good game uh 12 to 17 75 quarterback rating one touchdown three interceptions two of those i'll take the blame on one of them ea's fault <laughs> ezekiel elliott over 100 yard day love it give him the ball over 20 times leading receiver michael gallup I, uh, but CD had that great touchdown in the corner of the end zone before the end of the half. Defensively, let's go ahead and go over the sacks. The leader of the day was Leighton Banderush with one. Barr had one. Osa Digizua and Demarcus Lawrence shared one that was at the beginning of the game. So only three sacks on the day. Okay. But if you look at the interceptions, obviously Deron Bland had two of them. Uh, CJ Goodwin had the pick six. Kelvin Joseph got on the, it on the fun. Leighton Banderush had the pick six as well. So six of them. Um, but sorry, Cowboys can fan podcast. I did not get you a Turpin uh, touchdown this week. Hopefully next week. But there you guys go. There's your Madden prediction. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week for another Madden prediction. And go Cowboys.